In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make a thin blue line flag. It's one of the most basic, most simplest projects that you can make on your CNC, and I'm gonna show you how. So stick around. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And in this video, I wanna share with you how to make the thin blue line flag on your CNC. Like I said, it's one of the most basic, most simplest projects that you can make, especially since it's only two colors. In this video, I wanna share with you how I made a custom thin blue line flag with a name added to the thin blue line stripe. It's a very simple process. So without too much rambling on and on, let's just go ahead and jump into Carbide Create. All right guys, so jumping into Carbide Create, the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is import your flag SVG and get it kind of sized to what you think it should be. What I like to do for my flags is copy one of these stripes, usually this top stripe here, and I'm gonna add it here to the top and also add it to the bottom. The reason why I like to do that is to ensure that I have proper spacing throughout the entire flag. If I don't have these here to be kind of guides or markers, I will probably have a higher chance of aligning the flag kind of lopsided, maybe have more space down here than up here. It just allows me to align the flag better on the grid. The next thing that I do is I make sure that everything is grouped and then I'm going to align it center. So I already have it aligned center, but if I had it moved off like this, you can see that it'll just align everything to the center of the grid. Once I have it aligned, I'm going to ungroup everything. Once I have everything ungrouped, I can go ahead and start deleting these two. I can then select the 50 stars. I'm going to group those. And then I'm going to select everything, hold shift and deselect the stars and now group the stripes. What we're gonna do next is go ahead and set up our toolpaths. In the toolpath screen, I'm going to create a new group because I wanna keep those in group one. With the star selected, I'm gonna click on V carve, use current selection, edit it, 80, 90 for my plunge and feed rate, RPM at 18,000. I've recently started making my depth per pass 0.150 gonna click on use stock bottom. You can name it if you'd like. Next, we're gonna select the stripes. We're gonna click on advanced V-carve, use current selection, enable the area pocket tool. I'm going to use the quarter inch end mill. I'm just gonna update these plunge rates and feed rates to 80, 90 RPM at 18,000 and click okay. My max depth is going to stay at 0 0.04. As I'm editing this video, I realized that I didn't show the settings for the V-carve or for the V-bit. So go ahead and keep it 80, 90 for your plunge and feed rate, 18,000 for your RPM. And I'll rename the stripes. Since this is going to be a thin blue line, this stripe here is going to be our blue stripe. So I'm going to ungroup everything, hold shift and click on this stripe to deselect it, and then I'll group everything back together. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to click on this T for text. I'm going to enter the last name. I like my font to be Times New Roman. Everything else is left default, I'll click done. I'm going to bring the text over here to the stripe and just zoom in and I'm going to resize it to what I think would look best. So I'm just gonna keep resizing it. Go ahead and resize it to what you like. So let's say I'm happy with that sizing. What I wanna do next is I want to align the name in the middle of the stripe. So go ahead and select the name, hold shift and then click on the stripe and then come back over to the align options and click on align center and now we have the name in the center of the stripe. So now let's create a toolpath for this name. The toolpath is going to be a V-carve. Use current selection. Same settings as before, 80, 90. RPM at 18,000. The depth per pass we can leave at 0.1, that's fine. We're gonna select use stock bottom for our max depth. And let's go ahead and rename this to name. So now we can take a look at the simulation. And there you go. What I'm gonna start with is I'll start with the stars, then move on to the stripes, paint the stripe blue, and then reset my Z zero to carve the name and then run this toolpath. So let's go ahead and send this off to the machine and let me show you what I'm talking about.
even with the CNC, not everything is automated. I still had to pull out the paint and paintbrush to get this stripe blue. What I like about the Advanced V-Carve Toolpath is that it gives me a nice edge to be able to paint up to and almost flick the bristles up, allowing the paint to get right up to the start of the black stain. After I let the paint dry, I came back and reset my Z0 at the top of the material at this stripe or within this stripe. I then ran the toolpath that I showed you before and here's the name being carved. And before we check out the final product guys, if you guys are liking this video and got some value out of it, make sure to please subscribe and like the video. Leave me a comment of what you'd like to see next. Here is the final product.